This is one of the most important harmonic devices in the standard period jazz, bebop era jazz, and this is called a back cycle. happens when uh, you, after you do your 2-5-1 and you get to 1, this is what brings you back to the round to the 2. And I'll, I'll show you why it's called a back cycle and how it's derived. And also there are so many places to use it. And I'm going to give you uh, lots of examples and examples of tunes. And also I'm going to give you some specific lines and hints on how to play over this and how to create your own lines. Um, an F major 7th to a B flat 7 to an A minor 7 to a D7 to a, to a G minor 7 to a C7 and this is in F and this is what you, this is a back cycle. Now this is in many many tunes among them Have You Met Miss Jones, It Could Happen to You, it's in there. Once you get into this you'll be able to find so many different ways of, of applying this and so, many, so much uh, usage for it both chordally and also um, melodically with your solos. That, that functions as, as a dominant seventh chord and it can function at a dominant seven flat nine, and it can function as four different dominant seven flat nines. So, and, and also you can, you can make four different diminished chords out of it, so you can move it up in minor thirds, so. Like that, like the girl tied to the railroad tracks in the old, uh, in the old silent movies, I don't know. Because, what is D7 to A7, A flat 7? It's a tritone, tritone substitution, flat 5, tritone substitution. A tritone is a diminished fifth or an augmented fourth. So this is our tritone substitution there. So it could. So now, now what the D7 is called in classical music theory is it's called a secondary dominant. In any key, there's only one dominant seventh chord. In other words, in the key of F, there's a C7 that occurs naturally if you take the notes of the scale and harmonize it. And, and that's the only dominant seven. And it's a good thing, too, because it, it tells you when we're going home. That's five to one. Right. So now when you find another dominant seventh, uh, that's not a C7 in the key of F, it's what they call a, a secondary dominant seventh. Now that's, that would normally be the 5 D7 of G, of some kind of G. So this is the 5 of G minor, G minor being the 2 chord. So this is what they call 5 of 2. This class is going to go a little longer than the other ones because I can't get all this in. <laughs> This is a lot of stuff. Every variation, so so I'm going to be sometimes playing different variations against this variation, but you'll see where hopefully if I end up in the right spot, it sounds like I know what the hell I'm doing. So here we go. One, two, three, four. happy playing it is a joy for me to play and I hope it is for you too I'm sure it is or you would not be playing see you next time thanks so much